hello friends uh, so in the last video where i had uh, talked about the bay of bengal system and how it is going to weaken and other things uh, so i was talking about this uh, one aspect which is known as the intertropical convergence zone or the itcz so uh, there were many queries uh, after watching that video which is the last video that i recorded and posted uh, so the the question was how to locate the itcz Okay, so here I'm just going to quickly explain how to do that. So basically, ITCZ can be located from the from your from your wind map, and uh, usually I look at 850 HPA wind map. Uh, so because this is away from the boundary layers, so this is the uh, lowest level where the boundary effects are not going to be felt. That's why I look at this particular chart. So this is the equator by the uh, indicated by the black line, and ITCZ is nothing but the place where the winds from the southern hemisphere and the northern hemisphere meet. Okay. And one thing you have to remember is ITCZ doesn't have to be a straight line. It can be undulating line. Okay, so here I have indicated the ITCZ location using a uh, yellow line. And as you can see, uh, in the uh, West Indian Ocean, the ITCZ is below the equator, and in the East Indian Ocean, it is, it is above the equator. So this is very typical. Okay, ITCZ can be undulating. All right. And the reason I have drawn this is because you can see that the winds from the northern hemisphere are coming like this. And the winds from the southern hemisphere are moving like this, and both of them are meeting. And th this is exactly the point where they meet, right? <coughs> Sorry, this is exactly the point where they meet. And uh, if you come here in the East Indian Ocean, you will see that uh, this is the winds from the southern hemisphere, and this is the wind from the northern hemisphere. And this is ex this is the location where they meet somewhere here, correct? So that's why. The, so that is how I. Um, estimate where the ITCZ is located, and clearly, as you can see, it is not very much above the equator. It is slightly, it is slightly above the above the equator, uh, but the ITCZ, ITCZ is now, at this moment, is close to the equator, both in the uh, West Indian Ocean as well as the East Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean. Okay, uh, if you look at the IMD chart as well, you will, you will see the same thing. If you look at the wind vectors, and if you follow them. And you will see that this is where the ITCZ line is located, all right? So this is how I find the ITCZ, and that's how I told in the previous video that ITCZ is located close to the equator. And I hope that this is clear now, all right? The last thing that you can check is the cloud uh, top alert if it is um, in line with what we saw. And if you see, that's very clear in the West Indian Ocean, since the ITCZ is slightly below the equator, the convection activity is stronger here. Whereas in the East Indian Ocean, since the ITCZ is slightly above the equator. The activity is above the equator, right? So that is all uh, clear, and it all falls in the line. Okay. So I hope this video was uh, has helped you uh, in understanding where the ITCZ is and how to look at the ITCZ using wind maps. All right. Uh, so thanks for watching this, and if you like it, please uh, subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your friends. Okay. Thank you. And um, one last thing, I will be back with an update on the Bay of Bengal system. Obviously, it is not going to be a cyclone. Um, so uh, uh, after 10th and 11th, it is showing some kind of a low pressure near uh, Tamil Nadu and Sri Lanka. So let us again not get ahead of ourselves and look at the dynamics. I'll be back with a video explaining what to expect uh, in the next couple of days. Okay, so stay, stay tuned. All right, bye.